To form the past continuous tense, choose was or were depending on the subject. And the main verb has an ing ending, singular and plural. I was, and then the main verb goes here. You were. And then here's the main verb. He, she, it, was. And then the main verb goes here. We were, you were, they were. And then the main verb goes here. What were you doing? This is a very common question in the past continuous tense. Your answer, I was, and then here is the main verb with the ing ending. Use the past continuous tense when talking about something that happened in the past. It started in the past and it finished in the past. And it continued. It happened, 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 and then it stopped. What were you doing? I was working. I was resting. Or I was making dinner. Here's the verb be, and then the main verb has an ing ending. I was working. I was resting, I was making dinner. And I'll do the other side for about the same amount of time. Change the subject to they. What were they doing? And put they here. They were. They were working. They were resting. They were making dinner. I was eating. You were eating. He was eating. And then for the plural, just use eating. This is a good choice for demonstration purposes because the word eat is short. The verb eat doesn't require an object. So you can use it with or without an object. This is an activity that happened in the past over a period of time. What were you doing? And then your answer. I was, and then here, with the main verb, eat, I was eating. To form the negative, use not after the verb be. I was not eating. Or if you put these together, I wasn't eating. You were not eating. Put these together and this becomes, you weren't eating. Notice the difference between the negative in the past continuous tense and the negative in the past tense. Here's the helping verb, it's negative, and then use the simple form of the verb after that negative. I didn't eat. Use the past continuous tense when talking or writing about a situation that starts in the past and ends in the past, but it has to be a continuing action. I was sleeping. It started here at 10 o'clock 
and it ended here at five o'clock. I was sleeping. I could say I slept, but the best choice for this situation is this in the past continuous tense. I was sleeping. Here's the verb sleep in the past continuous tense. Here's the verb sleep in the past tense. There's the simple form. Here's the past tense. When you see a verb with an ing ending, you can consider it in the form of a present participle or it's the verb in the simple form, but it has an ing ending. The verb sleep is a good choice for the past continuous tense because this is an activity that happens over a period of time. This happens during a five or six or seven hour period. I was sleeping. You were sleeping. He was sleeping. She was sleeping. It was sleeping. We were sleeping. You were sleeping. They were sleeping. To make this negative, not goes here between was and the main verb. I was not sleeping. Or if you combine was and not, use wasn't. I wasn't sleeping. You were sleeping. Negative becomes you were not sleeping or with the contraction use weren't. You weren't sleeping. He, she, it. Not goes here. The contraction is wasn't. He wasn't sleeping. And the same goes for these verbs here. Here's the verb sleep in the past tense. Here's the simple form. Here's the past tense. I slept. You slept. He, she, it slept. When you make a question, it looks like this. The helping verb is did. Then the subject, the main verb, is in the simple form. It doesn't matter what the subject is. You always use the helping verb did and then the main verb is in the simple form. Here's the verb talk in the past continuous tense. The verb be goes here and then the subject. Was I talking? Were you talking? What were you doing while I was talking? Here's the question. The main verb is do. And then here's the second part of the question using while. This is used when something happens at the same time. What were you doing while I was talking? So these two things happen at the same time. I was talking and you were doing something. You can answer and say, I was listening or I was listening while you were talking. Or you could change this from the past continuous tense and say, I was listening while you talked. But the past continuous tense is often a better choice because it's activity that happens over a period of time. So, I was listening while you were talking. What were you doing while I was talking? I was listening while you were talking. Here's another example. You were taking notes 
while you were watching this video. So two things happen at the same time, taking notes, taking notes, taking notes, and then watching, watching, watching the video. And the word while connects these two activities. You could use uh, watched instead of watching. You were taking notes while you watched this video. But I think this sounds a little better because it implies activity that's continuous over a period of time. 